Local shelters expect to stay busy as we enter the fall and winter months. That's when they say domestic violence increases. Just this morning, a Newport News woman was found dead inside of a home on 75th Street. After an investigation, police arrested 47-year-old Javier Hernandez Oriana. Police say the crime appeared to be domestic. All new tonight, 10 on your sides, Markeisha Jackson talked with neighbors and a local shelter urging anyone in a scary situation to seek help. More than 10 million men and women experience some form of domestic violence each year. Oftentimes it's happening to your family, friends and neighbors, but there are resources for anyone in need to escape. Violet Richardson says her quiet street in Newport News was anything but calm early Monday morning. When I woke up and opened my door here, I saw the police. According to officials, Newport News police officers were dispatched to 75th Street near Roanoke Avenue just before 2.30 a.m. for reports of an unresponsive female. Officers arrived and found 36-year-old Emma Carolina Lopez Navarre not breathing. She was later pronounced dead at the scene. Richardson says she had spoken to the young woman several times in the past. I'm scaring about this because I, I'm here for four years, but I didn't hear anything from any neighbors since the first time. But uh, it's scary, actually. After an investigation, police arrested 47-year-old Javier Hernandez Oriana and charged him with second-degree homicide. Police said Navarre was involved in a domestic assault with Hernandez Oriana, a scary situation that domestic violence shelters in our area say they are seeing more of. Well, really, it just crushes us. The Help and Emergency Response, or HER Shelter, assists clients with emergency shelter, employment readiness, counseling, and legal advocacy, plus resources like their 24-7 hotline. Call us. You can go on our website and look for information. We have an easy exit button, so if your abuser comes in while you're on the website, you can get out quickly. Um, we will help you make an escape plan. She says their hope is to not see another life in this way. We can change that from potential death sentence to living a happy, healthy life. For a full list of domestic violence resources across Hampton Roads, head over to wavy.com. Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side.